checked. And he listens to his corner. You know, Mike Constantino was calling for the leg kick, fake the leg kick, follow the right hand, and that's exactly what he did. But now Gleason's got him down. Gleason's second takedown of the night. Lost his back, but, yep, lost control totally. Let him up. This pace that Nurmagomedov Madoff is setting here in the third might be threatening Tibau a bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, if he's gonna wilt, now's the time. Yep. Three hard rounds of this. I mean, and again, folks, if you've never tried this, this doesn't look like much when they're up against the cage, but it's one of the most grueling aspects of the sport. Is they're both straining full clip. Watch the fence, watch the fence. Just watch over two fence. on the clock here. Take your hands off the fence. I'm gonna take a point from you. Mario's warning, never made off. Stop from, he's trying to hold on to the fence to keep Glacian in position. And Glacian again, just, just a brick wall of a takedown defense. And he was trying to get double unders. And he does deliver the knee. T-Bow with all those animals at American Top Team for so many years. So, so talented in the exchanges on the cage that we saw a moment ago. Look at Nelly Madoff just waiting in there. Under 90 seconds remaining in this lightweight fight. There's that big right hand again. Nice lead left. The corner of Nurmagomedov Madoff is getting urgent. I'm sure the fighter will very soon as well. Well, if he loses this fight, which we both think he probably will lose by decision, if uh, nothing changes in the next 50 seconds or so, it's a learning experience for this young man, you know, to, to step in there and fight a guy who's had so many fights inside the octagon. And, uh, you know, and just see, oh, we clipped him with the right hand, though. As we said at the top of the round, Joe, you're always one right hand away from changing everything. And this is a big assignment for a young man, second fight inside the octagon. The biggest weekend in UFC history. He had to step yep. in there against a guy like Glayson. With all of Anderson Silva's fans in the stands supporting fellow Brazilian. Nice slip again by Glace. Glacen's really worked on his head movement. You can see the benefits. Yeah, he, he certainly has become a much more yeah. polished striker. Much more technical and relaxed. Nice knee there by Glacen. And now nice made up. He's a pit bull He's this gonna kid. go all the way to the final Look bell. Up. Every punch has home run written all over it, too. He's a lot of fun to watch. He goes the distance with the veteran, the official decision when we return on FX. UFC 148 prelims on FX, sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. They go the distance, Nurmagomedov made up in Tebow, and here is the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest, 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Wow! Wow, indeed. Whoa. He remains unbeaten in his mixed martial arts career. Move of the fight brought to you by Metro PCS, the official wireless partner of the UFC. UFC is moving to Metro. Everybody's moving to Metro. It was the pace of Nurmagomedov, Madoff, Joe, that made the ultimate decision in the judge's eyes. How about that? That's amazing. Well, he, he certainly was trying harder. He was certainly the guy that was pushing the pace of the fight. But uh, I personally thought that Glayson scored more. Yeah, well, that's why you don't leave it in the hands of the judges, but it works this time for the young Russian who remains unbeaten. Uh, this place is packed in anticipation of Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen later tonight.